On this episode of TKOA Weekly, I talk about the cables that you can use inside your home theater system, your laptop, and your desktop, and actually tell you what the maximum length that can be used with them without using any kind of signal booster and regardless of its quality. My name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and of course you can always shoot me an email at ask at tqaweekly.com if you have any questions, comments, and even suggestions for topics. And you can always find me on Twitter, that's at Z-E-D-A-X-I-S. You can find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Z-E-D-A-X-I-S 1981. And of course on Google+, Plus, that is Steve Smith 1981 or you can go to tqaweekly.com where you can interact with others on previous episodes, shoot me an email by the contact form, or even go to the subscribe option to see every single way you can find me on the internet for my shows and my social networking information. This episode is about the maximum length of cable you can use your laptop, desktop, home theater system, regardless of its length, uh, regardless of its quality, excuse me, and without a signal booster whatsoever. So basically, generic cables, maximum length you can use with them, no particular order whatsoever. So we're gonna start off with the USB cable, which is the most common cable gonna be in the house, usually at about 100 milliamps, 1500 milliamps for USB 3, which is not really all that important because the cable itself cannot go more than 15 feet. So for those trying to reduce their latency while playing really far away from the TV, thinking that that's gonna reduce the latency compared to wireless, it's not actually through. At those distances, you are better off going wireless. In the case for those like me who have a sound system that have the optical toss link option, you actually cannot go really much further than five feet. The specification says 10. In practice, it's always been limited to about five feet without any option. However, for those that say that SPDIF Digital coax option is better. It is only better if you don't expect anything more than one meter, 3.5 feet. Designed for hi-fi racks, it has that very specific length because of the way hi-fi racks actually were designed at that point. For your ethernet cable, I know wireless exists, but for your ethernet cable, expecting 10, 100, and even 1,000 base ethernet connection over Cat6 cable means that you cannot exceed 100 meters or 320 eight feet, which is still quite far. And this is the longest cable you're gonna get on this entire list. For those who like their HDMI cable, their 1080p and of course their 3D, your HDMI cable cannot exceed 25 feet, but if your media player is 25 feet away from your television, how do you deal with the remote, literally? For those that actually like DisplayPort cables, those cables are pretty neat because they have two different standards. You have your passive cables, which can go up to three meters, and your active cables that can go up to 33 meters or almost 100 feet. For those who don't like VGA, want a digital signal, don't have any of the other stuff, you're probably using DVI. DVI cables can actually support a resolution of up to 1920 by 1200 at 16 hertz, with a maximum length of 4.6 meters or 15 feet or less. And if you're stuck using VGA cables because you're in a business environment or because you just never bought any other cable because this usually comes free with just about every single monitor you can buy, that cable's length equates to, very some, to something very specific, 1600 by 1200 at 16 Hertz at three feet. So yeah, that's pretty short. That's all of the cables you will generically use with any home entertainment system, computer, whether it be tower or laptop or anything else in that kind of environment. So if I forgot anything, which I don't think I did, but if I did, you can always drop that down below if you're watching on YouTube, Vimeo or blip.tv. And of course, you can always send that to tqaweekly.com on that specific episode page. That is tqaweekly.com slash se5ep20. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Like and dislike if you have anything to say about that. And don't forget to explain to me down below why and share with those that you can think can actually benefit from this. So have a great day. Goodbye and 
Let's see you here next week.